Today we have a Kumahimo tutorial for you. So I already have a tutorial on how to do the standard eight strand, two colored spirally Kumahimo. I uploaded that a couple of Christmases ago, I think. Um, and it was kind of like a candy cane with the red and the white, but I decided to make something a bit different um, with Kumahimo. And I went for a multi-strand. So I went for a multi-strand and it looks a bit like a sunflower. Um, this one I braided the ends and I made it from yarn which is why it's quite chunky, I don't know if I like it. But then I made one using embroidery thread and it's super cute. And it's just a knot at the end there. So you didn't click on this video to listen to me waffle on, let's just get on with the tutorial shall we? Okay, so. This is my Kumihimo disc. I already have it all set up, but I will talk you through it. You are going to need nine strands of your background colour. I'm using green. And each of these strands is around 50 centimetres long-ish. You don't need a full metre, but 50 centimetres should be plenty. So you need nine green, you need six of the yellow, and then you need, or whatever your petal colour is, and you're going to need one of the centre colour. I'm using a very dark brown, it's almost black. And I've knotted them. I've popped the knot through the centre of my disc and then I have inserted the uh, strings, threads, like so. So at the top we have two green strings. Next along we have two yellow strings. Then we have the black string and a yellow string or a dark brown string. And then next along you have a yellow string and a green string. Then we have two green strings at the bottom. Next to that we have two green strings. And then next to that we have one green string and one yellow string. And then next to that we have one green string and one yellow string. And then we're back up at the top. If you need to pause the video, feel free to pause the video. Make sure that your strings are looking like this. And then we're good to get going. Okay, so Kumahimo is the same technique regardless of how many strings you have on your board. I already have a video on how to do a basic eight string Kumahimo, but now I'm just going to show you on this 16 string so you don't get confused. So I'm going to take this string here, which is the top right string, I'm going to bring that down and place it on the right hand side of the two green strings at the bottom. Then I'm going to take the left green string from the bottom and I'm going to take that up and place it on the left hand side of the string here. I'm then going to turn to my next pair of strings. So once again I'm taking the right string and I'm taking that down and putting that in the right hand side of the two green strings. Then I'm taking the green string and I'm taking that up and putting it on the left hand side of the yellow string and then turning it. And you don't need to take notice of the numbers around the edge at all. That's irrelevant for this anyway. So I'm then once again taking the right hand side, placing it on the right hand side of that duo and then taking the left hand string and placing it on the left hand side of that duo. Give it a turn and so right hand side stays on the right hand side and the left hand side stays on the left hand side and back. So right hand side stays on the right hand side, left hand side stays on the left hand side and we're turning it anti-clockwise. Obviously you can do this the other way around and turn it clockwise if you want to, but once you're turning it in a direction, you need to stick to a direction. So, right hand string comes down to the right hand side. Left hand string goes up to the left hand side. Turn. And I'm just going to keep repeating these steps. It is as simple as that, honestly. I'm just going to keep repeating these steps. So right hand side goes down to the right hand side, left side goes up to the left hand side. And if you need to 
take a phone call or something, just put one string down and so place it down and then when you come back to it, you know that you are here because it's got three strings here and your next step is to take the left hand string up. Oh, I'm so clever. But yes, I'm just going to keep repeating these steps. That is honestly as simple as it is until this bracelet is long enough to fit around my wrist. Now, I'm not going to show you how to finish off this bracelet because I don't have any ends um, that are designed for Kumihimo. But I will link a video in the description box that will show you how to attach the ends onto Kumihimo. It's honestly not that difficult. Um, but yes, you can also braid it if you want to or make it long enough so it knots around your wrist, which I think is the option I'm going to go for. But if you wanted to add findings and such, I don't have uh, any of the findings here, which is a massive inconvenience and a pain for you all. I'm really sorry. But I just wanted to show you how to do this for me, Because once you've mastered the eight strings, you're ready to move on to something else. And although this is kind of the same technique, it has more strings, so it's a bit fancier. I may also try to make a loop at the other end actually and see if I can get a button closure going. We'll see, we shall see. I'll try to finish it off in some way anyway because I'm really enjoying the colors of this. So to finish off the bracelet, I'm just gonna take it off my wrist so I can show you. Because I don't have any of the proper closures and they're super easy to use, so I recommend using the proper closures. But all I did was, this is the end that I started with here and this is the end that I was kind of folding over and over itself. I did a slip knot and then glued the knot and the ends and just let it dry and then I used that to attach it because I still wanted to make it removable. Um, so I pop that on my wrist and then I tie a knot with itself. And I don't know, I just thought it's super cute and it's a nice and easy way to fasten it. So now you know just how easy peasy Kumihimo bracelets are to make, especially this one, super easy peasy. I've popped a link to the pattern in the description box below so you can click there and see that. But all it shows you is exactly what I've shown you. So, just saying. If you did enjoy this tutorial and you want to see more Kumihimo videos, let me know. Leave me a comment down below. Also, feel free to give this video a thumbs up. Your support means the world to me, and why not hit subscribe? I post new craft tutorials every single Sunday, and then I post bonus videos in the week as well. You get two bonus videos, one on a Tuesday and one on a Thursday. Have you seen this week's bonus videos? On Tuesday, I filmed a plan with me. You got to see that this video was coming up and how I spent the rest of the week, if that is something that you're interested in, and I decorated it with pretty pastel stickers. And then on Thursday, I showed you how to make a super easy two ingredient lip scrub inspired by the one from Lush. Just cheaper and fewer ingredients and you make it yourself, which makes it even cooler. Don't forget to check out the description box below. All of my links to my social media are down there and I would love it if you followed me on Twitter or on Snapchat or something like that. It would be cool, it would mean a lot to me, and I would love it. I think that's everything I have to say. I'm gonna go make myself a cup of tea because I'm thirsty. Thank you very much once again for watching and I shall see you very soon in Tuesday's video. Bye. very special video and I'm quite excited. Today marks the second anniversary of the Corner of Crafts first YouTube video. <laughs>